And I think also I had a weird dream the other night where I was at the grocery store and uh, everyone was like panic buying and all this shit. And like they, they kept like restocking things. So people were like running out of the line to like go get stuff and people were cutting me and I had to yell at a lady. It was a weird ass dream. And then I remember when I got to the register, they asked me for my social credit card. And I'm like, what? And they're like, your social credit score. We need to make sure that you're a good person before you're allowed to buy from here or some shit like that. And I was like, what? And the like lady in front of me was China like, you don't right have your now. social credit card? And I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, well, give us this information. We'll, we'll look you up and we'll provide you with one. It was so weird. And I was like, oh, my gosh, it's come to this. And then I woke up and I'm like, <gasps> Oh my god, it was just a dream. But it was so <laughs> weird because it, it was like, oh, it was so strange. But I'm like, oh yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. So it's con- it's conspiracy theories again. Look, your dreams are conspiracy theories. <laughs> <laughs> dreams are wild, man. Dreams are one of those things that's it's literally just your brain trying to end stories that you've experienced throughout the day, but in their own way. Like wild way. It'll just be like, all right, Richard, you saw a guy wearing a green hat today and then you thought to yourself, hmm, that's interesting. So therefore tonight there's going to be a story about how there's a man with a green hat who's trying to pay you dollars to touch your butt. And you're like, huh? When did that happen? <laughs> like, <laughs> Do you use your wheelchair in your dreams? I don't Ooh. know. So for the most part, I don't really dream. And if I do, I sure shit don't remember it. But I think in my dreams, I don't recall pushing a wheelchair around. But then again, my wheelchair is already such a second part of me already. I don't even really notice I'm pushing it around even right now. You know, like I'm just kind of just. Right. It's life. Like this is who we are. Yeah, you have that, Jesse? Yeah, I start paralyzed and always by the end, like halfway through the dream, I'm using my wheelchair as a walker and it has a higher back. So I'm like using it that way. And then I'm walking like normal by the end of the dream. But then I'm like, oh, I need my wheelchair. And I'm like always going, I need my wheelchair. I need my wheelchair (laughs) as I'm walking. I always start. That gets me so stoked. I've, (laughs) I've, um, I think I was watching an AMA with someone that was a wheelchair user and they were talking about it. I feel like I've heard this question a couple of times and some people say like in dreams, a lot of times you don't really walk. You almost kind of like float around. So like a lot of people don't realize that they know it. They're like, if I am using the wheelchair, I'm not like thinking about it, but that's almost kind of like in my daily life. I'm, I'm not using my wheelchair. I'm, or I'm using my wheelchair, but I'm not thinking about it. Same thing with like, you know, in your dream last night, what color shirt were you wearing? It's like, I don't fucking know. I didn't go look down on my shirt. You know, Did, have you guys ever lucid done lucid dreaming before? Like where you I've tried um, and I don't remember the results, ex- except for I remember one thing where it's like, if you're lucid dreaming, the only way to stay lucid dreaming is to not be aware that you're lucid dreaming because the no, second you, have you to become be aware that you're lucid dreaming and then you That's have to consciously not wake up. That's right. You have to be aware. Oh, but, but one yeah. of the things I remember is like they That's say the whole thing about lucid is you know it's happening. In in your dream, if you are like, oh, I'm dreaming, a way that you can ground yourself is in your dream, you rub your hands together. Like in your dream, you imagine like rubbing your hands together, and it's like, and it puts you right back into that place. But I remember I there's so that, many but... there's so many tricks where it's like you wake up at like five thirty and then the sun starts to rise and you're awake for thirty minutes and then you go back to sleep and then immediately it kicks you into a lucid dream because your brain is giving you all of the wake up drugs because it saw the sun. It's like, oh hey, circadian rhythm, time to wake up. But then you fall back asleep. So then you have these really, really vivid dreams. Yeah, I've only been I always able to get lucid murdered when I'm napping. Like if I'm intentionally trying to do it. I you used to nap? Try it. If I, if I was, I used to like try to do it when I was in high school, I like wanted to try it. And so the best way to do it is by just like napping. And then you got to have like the best way is to have like an intention set for it. So like once you realize you're in the lucid dream, you're like, oh shit, I'm in a dream. Now what? So if you already kind of have an idea of what you want to do, like maybe you want to go fly and you just like fly around town or maybe you want to like go meet someone cool that you've always wanted to meet, or maybe you wanted to do this thing or whatever. It's pretty crazy. I've only I've only been able to successfully do it like a few times, but it's pretty fun. It's like That's it's wild. it's weird. It's literally like you're like almost like tripping on like psychedelics, but you're just like dreaming because your brain is literally like dumping weird drugs into your head. I'm Jesse. Did that. you say that you get? Murdered I always have in your dreams. dreams. I get murdered. Yeah, always. Really? I'm always running from a murderer, or for the most part, if I remember my dreams, it's because 
somebody broke into the house. It always typically starts this way. Somebody breaks in the house. I hear a gunshot. They get my mom on the couch first. They go up and get my dad. And then they come down. They come in the back door, go straight down, go to my sister's room. And I'm like, shit, how am I going to hide in my wheelchair? So I like sneak out while he's like going to my sister's room. And I go out, go up my lift. And then it always ends from there. It's wild. Like That's I'm always weird. running from a murder. I always have murder. dreams where I kill uh, <laughs> Jesse Strahan. It's so weird. <laughs> You're the one. You're my murderer. <laughs> I, I have dreams of like choking or drowning. Or the worst dream is the driving in a car and your brakes don't work dream. Oh, when you're going, fuck, you're that's going, terrible. you're going. You're going down. Is that a guy really thing? When you're I've going down here really fast oh. and you're slamming on your brakes and you're slamming on your brakes, but you're not slowing down. Also, another one is when your teeth, your teeth get like ripped out or crushed or bashed or like they disintegrate. Like I've teeth never had what kind out. of dreams are you having? Gee. Well, first of all, I grind my teeth in my sleep, so that's one of the things. Uh. Another one is I've got sleep apnea, so I am choking on myself sometimes. And the third one, I think, is just like sometimes a loss of sense, of, like a loss of control, where it's like I just, I just grip, like in real life, I just grip onto control so much that, like in the dream, the way that my subconscious makes me let go of it is by putting me in a car and basically being like, "Hey, this is going down a hill fast, and you can't stop. Enjoy crashing," you know, like. <laughs> that's me with falling. I have falling dreams a lot. You think I would have falling dreams because that's how I got paralyzed, but that's I don't. I'm not even afraid of heights. Like I just seems like I, I don't necessarily. I don't necessarily. He's afraid of roller coasters. Yeah, yeah he is afraid true. of. Ro- he's not even like afraid of them. Like he, he will like physically like. No, so panic. this is what ha- this is what happens, right? So. I so um, I know. Me too. I was thinking to the same thing. Up, but yeah, we gotta wrap it up. Yeah. my my panic system turns on and off at its own will. I I have no control over my panic system. So it's like when I go on like a carnival ride or I just like. I just turn I like I have a panic attack like that and it doesn't go away. Like I'm like I fucking hate shit like that cuz it just like moves my organs around and makes my you know I mean I've been I haven't I haven't jumped it's run in your guts. S- I haven't jumped run skipped tripped like I haven't done anything to make my body like wail around in that way. I just sit and I waddle around. You know what I mean? Like no 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 thing <laughs> has caused my body to like ah <sighs> You but know? you like going fast in a car. I love going fast. As long in cars. as I'm driving the car. If I'm in some, if someone else is driving it, it, it kind of like makes me freak out a little bit. Weird. It's that control thing. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I, I could drive. I could drive with lunch money, but he never went over highway speed. He was always under, like even though it was like zero yeah, to I guess eighty. So. In like yeah, not highway two speed. or three yeah, seconds. You're right. Yeah, it was. It was, it was ne- just it the was pure acceleration. Over, which was dope. I liked that. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full episode, you can click right here. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you can click right here. If you want to watch more clips, we got two more right over here.